Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Kazu here with a Monster Hunter Rise video. Today we're going to be showing you a guide for PC players on how to back up a save file so that you can rewrote Talisman Melting to get a God Row Talisman as fast as possible. Now when I say God Row, I don't actually know if we're going to get a good Talisman or not, but this is going to be the most time efficient way to do Talisman Melding. Now, the first thing you're going to have to make sure is that your melder is empty because we're going to save right here and start with our quote unquote checkpoint for the meld. So this is going to be the initial save file. Now to access that save file, you're going to want to go to your local disk drive and open up program files 86. Then we're going to look for the steam folder, user data folder then our steam id folder and then we're going to look for the monster under folder and that's going to be under 1446780 so open that up we're going to have a folder inside called remote and that's where our monster hunter rise pc save is going to be located so win64 underscore save is our save file we're going to want to click on that and copy it then make a backup folder and drop that into our backup folder so now we have a save file at 1.42 p.m. which we can load back to should we need to for rerolling talisman loading. Now another thing you're going to want to note is that in Monster Hunter Rise, if you have this downloaded on PC through Steam, you're going to want to go into properties for Monster Hunter Rise and make sure that keep game saves in the Steam cloud for Monster Hunter Rise is unchecked. That way Steam won't constantly be trying to upload your cloud saves into the game and you can use the local files. All right, and now we're loaded back into Monster Hunter. This is my character, Arya. She's HR 132, and our playtime is 66, 46, 46. Make sure to pay attention to that, because when you restore back to a previous save, you want to make sure that that playtime is going to be the same as when you started it. So now we can go to the melder and we can start ordering up the melds. I'm going to be doing 10 Wisp of Mystery, which I recommend as getting the highest chances of a god row talisman now you could also do rebirth however in the event that sunbreak has a better version of the rebirth i would actually hold on to your talismans currently that you aren't using but we're going to fast forward this we're going to order up 10 melts All right, and now that we have 10 orders made, we can start farming these and rolling them. Now the fastest way to do that is to go to the arena. We're gonna to talk to Master Utsushi and we're gonna start the Rajang quest. We're gonna intentionally fail this quest to set the quest timer down as fast as humanly possible. This is gonna be pretty much the most efficient way, time-wise, to roll your talisman melds. Now, you can play the gunner to be squishier, but it doesn't really matter. You could just pick the any of the classes. Make sure to avoid the spirit bird on the side. And we are going to just get hit. Boom. And as you can see, we finished the quest in 20 seconds. Or rather, we failed the quest in 20 seconds. But that's going to be the fastest way to approve the talisman. So you can see 1 out of 10 meldings are complete. So we're going to go through all 10 and I'll fast forward to this.
All right, we're back and all of our meldings are completed. All right, and now we're gonna check out our melds. So let's take a look at the talismans. Rapid Morph 2 with a 2 slot, not bad. Crit boost, one proof. Ah, oh, if I had a 2 slot. Ah, oh, if I had a 2 slot. Ah, so as you can see there, we did a full set of rolls. Actually, wait a minute. <laughs> Why are we missing one? Not sure why we're missing one. I might have trolled and not fully completed the last meld. But with that being said, now that we are completed with the 10 orders and we want to re-roll it because we weren't satisfied with the results, um, this is how we're going to do it. So you can exit the game now. Save and exit. It doesn't matter. We're going to load a save. We're going to revert back. And we're back to character select. As you can see here on our character Aria, we have 66, 46, 23 is our playtime, which is a little bit earlier than I think the last one. It was 66, 44, 46, 46, but um, it is back to previous. So it should be if we take a look at our melds, there's no melds in place. And we have the exact same amount of material we had as before we did our melds. So we basically reverted back. And that's the exact purpose of the backup save. Now to re-roll your talismans, because if I were to just load up another 10 orders and then do the Rajong thing and fail all the quests again, I would get the exact same 50 talismans I got last time. To reset the talisman counter so that you get new talismans, different ones, uh, what we're gonna wanna do is put in enough materials just for one row. And then we're going to go fight Rajong and fail that. And the most crucial step afterwards. So we're going to first fill the quest. But after we do this and then we take our one talisman, we're going to reload. And once you reload the game, that actually makes it so that the next batch of talismans will be different. Boom, we fainted. Melding is complete. So we're going to look at this, and it's the Ice Attack Bludgeoner, which is the exact same talisman as from the first batch of 50. But now... We're going to reload. So return to title screen. Title screen. Uh, make sure to accept, save, and quit. So it is going to cost you one actual talisman when you do these rerolls, but you'll get the rest of the material for the past fifty. Continue. gathering hub and now we can set up for the next batch of 10 it's going to be totally different rows so i'm going to go fast forward through all of that and we'll get back when we're done with the talismans and we can unlock them okay we're back with a full set of melds so again we went to our save our previous save file we melded just one single talisman then we reloaded back into the game and we put in our 10 orders. And so now, as you're gonna see, these should all be different. Yeah, it looks different. Hold on, let's, let's go through it a little bit more steadily. Oh, protective polish too with two one slots.
Yep, so that looks uh, entirely different to me. So I think proves that you can re-roll it. Um, so I hope this video helps. All right, and we're back with another batch of talismans just because, man, the last one was really not that great. So hopefully we're going to get something good here. I've got a feeling. I've got a feeling that we're going to get something maybe half decent. Maybe something with weakness exploit or critical boost. Oh, things aren't looking so good so far. Quick sheath. Whoa. This is actually better than the one that I have. I have one that's exactly like this, but it has botanist instead of wirebug whisperer. So that's an improvement. Kind of barely. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. This is an improvement. Not by a lot, though. But, well, that's going to be it for the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed the Talisman Melting Guide should be pretty helpful for you save a lot of time if you don't want to just like repeatedly farm narwa you know if you do regular melting you'll keep the talismans of course which is nice and it's not a bad thing to do but i think you would definitely save a lot of time um just by re-rolling so good luck to you all hopefully you guys get some god road let me know if you do and um yeah have a great one thanks for watching <laughs>